Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EG and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the relation among the arcs and the central angles of a circle. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A. Determine the relation among arcs and central angles of a circle. Letter B. Find the measure of arcs and central angles of a circle. And Letter C. Value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. So we have the following things to know and remember when we are solving for the central angle and arcs of a circle. So the first one is the measure of a circle is always equal to 360 degrees. Then the next one, a semicircle is equal to 180 degrees. And then vertical angles are equal. So in this case, angle C is congruent to angle A and then angle B is equal to the measure of this angle which is equal to 40 degrees. So meaning to say these two angles are congruent with each other and same goes with this angle. And then the next one, linear pairs are supplementary. So when we say supplementary, the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So in this case, 120 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, this is a linear pair. So let's have the definition of central angle. So when we say central angle, it is an angle whose vertex lies on the center of the circle. So let's try to identify which circle has a central angle and which circle does not have a central angle. So the first circle has a central angle because the vertex is located at the center of the circle. Well, the angle on the second circle is not a central angle because the vertex, which is point B, is not located on the center of the circle. So the first one is a central angle of a circle. So angle XTY is a central angle. And then angle ABC is not a central angle. So we have the central angle theorem, wherein it states that the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc, meaning to say whatever the measure of the central angle is the measure of its intercepted arc. They are equal with each other. So in the first figure, if angle XTY is the central angle, then it is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc, which is arc XY. Let's say, for example, if the measure of angle XTY is equal to 65 degrees, then the measure of its intercepted arc, arc XY, is also equal to 65 degrees. Let's say if the measure of arc XY is equal to 100 degrees, then the measure of angle XTY, which is the central angle, is also equal to 100 degrees. So let's have an example. In the diagram below, if the measure of angle XYZ is equal to 68 degrees. Find the measure of the minor arc and the major arc. So let's have the solution. So let's solve first for the measure of the minor arc. So remember, the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So the intercepted arc of angle XYZ is arc XZ, which is a minor arc because it measures less than 180 degrees. So if the measure of angle XYZ is equal to 68 degrees, then the measure of arc XZ is also equal to 68 degrees. 
So next let's solve for the measure of the major arc. So to solve for the measure of the major arc, we will subtract 68 degrees by 360 degrees because the measure of a circle is equal to 360 degrees. So to get the measure of the remaining part of the arc of the circle, we will subtract it by 68 to get the measure of the major arc. So we have 360 degrees minus the measure of arc XZ, which is equal to 68 degrees, is equal to 292 degrees. So the measure of the major arc is equal to 292 degrees. So let's have another example. Segment EB is a diameter of circle Q and angle AQB is equal to 96 degrees. Find the measure of the following. So let's find first the measure of arc AB. So the measure of the central angle AQB is equal to 96 degrees and its intercepted arc is arc AB. So therefore, the measure of arc AB is equal to 96 degrees. Next, let's find the measure of arc ACB, so the measure of the major arc. So we will subtract 96 degrees, which is the measure of arc AB by 360 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 96 degrees is equal to 264 degrees. So the measure of arc ACB is equal to 264 degrees. Next, let's solve for the measure of arc AE. So to get the measure of arc AE, we will subtract the measure of arc AB, which is equal to 96 degrees by 180 degrees. Because the measure of arc EAB is equal to 180 degrees, which is a semicircle because it is cut by a diameter. So subtracting 180 degrees minus 96 degrees is equal to 84 degrees. So the measure of arc AE is equal to 84 degrees. So let's have another example. Find all the angles and arcs of circle X. So to find the measure of the central angle angle AXL, so we will identify its intercepted arc, which is arc AL. So the measure of arc AL is 100 degrees, so therefore the measure of the central angle is also equal to 100 degrees. And then next, let's find the measure of the major arc, arc ACL. So we can get the measure of the major arc by subtracting 100 degrees by the measure of the circle, which is equal to 360 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 100 degrees is equal to 260 degrees. So the measure of arc ACL is equal to 260 degrees. Next is sub number 2. Find all the angles and arcs of circle C. So we have the given 30 degrees, which is the measure of arc EA. So the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So if arc EA is 30 degrees, then the measure of its central angle, angle ECA, is also equal to 30 degrees. Then let's find its vertical angle, which is angle DCB. Angle DCB and angle ECA are vertical angles, meaning to say they are congruent or they have equal measure. So if the measure of angle ECA is 30 degrees, then the measure of angle DCB is also equal to 30 degrees. Then if this is the central angle, then the measure of its intercepted arc is also equal to 30 degrees. Next, let's try to find the measure of angle ECD. So, angle ECD and angle DCB are linear pairs, meaning to say, if we add these two angles, the measure will be equal to 180 degrees. So, if this is 30 degrees, this angle is equal to 150 degrees because linear pairs are supplementary. So the measure of angle ECD is 150 degrees. And then the measure of its intercepted arc, so this is a central angle, so 
so the measure of arc ED is also equal to 150 degrees. And then, the measure of its vertical angle, which is angle ACB, is also equal to 150 degrees because vertical angles are congruent. And then, the measure of its intercepted arc is also equal to 150 degrees. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So let's have question number three. Find all the angles and arcs of circle C. So we have the given central angle ACD, which is equal to 142 degrees. So let's get first the measure of its intercepted arc, which is arc AD. So if the measure of the central angle is 142 degrees, the measure of arc AD is equal to 142 degrees. And then arc BAD is a semicircle because it is cut by a diameter. So this one is a semicircle. So we will subtract 142 degrees by 180 degrees to get the measure of arc BA. So 180 degrees minus 142 degrees is equal to 38 degrees. Now, we have the measure of arc BA, which is equal to 38 degrees, and its central angle is angle BCA. So the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So if the measure of arc BA is 38 degrees, then the measure of angle BCA is also equal to 38 degrees. Then let's solve for the measure of this arc. So this one is a semicircle, therefore its measure is equal to 180 degrees. Next, let's have question number four. Find all the angles and arcs of circle C. So the measure of arc AB is given, which is equal to 85 degrees. The measure of arc LD is given, which is equal to 125 degrees. Let's find first the measure of angle ACB, which is equal to 85 degrees. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Then after that, let's find the measure of angle ACL, wherein these two angles are linear pairs, meaning to say, if we will add these two angles, the measure is equal to 180 degrees. So, we will subtract 85 degrees by 180 degrees to get angle ACL. So the measure of angle ACL is equal to 95 degrees. Then let's now get the measure of its intercepted arc, which is also equal to 95 degrees. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Then let's now solve for the measure of angle LCD which is the value of its intercepted arc is 125 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle LCD is also equal to 125 degrees. Then, let's now get for the measure of angle BCD. So, angle BCD and angle LCD are linear pairs. So, therefore, once we add these two angles, the measure will be equal to 180 degrees. So, to get that, we will subtract 125 degrees by 180 degrees, which is equal to 45 degrees. Then the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So if this is 45 degrees, then the measure of arc BD is also equal to 45 degrees. So next, let's apply algebra on our topic. So use circle P to find the value of X then find the measure of the red arc. So we have here the following given. So the measure of arc QR is 4x degrees. The measure of arc RS is 6x degrees. And the measure of arc ST is 7x. And then the measure of arc QT is equal to 7x. Now to find the value of x, since this is a circle, and we know that the measure of the circle is equal to 360 degrees, by arc addition postulate, we will add all the arcs of the circle. So the equation will be arc QR plus arc RS plus arc ST plus arc QT 
equals 360 degrees. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values of the arc. So we have 360 is equal to the value of QR, which is equal to 4x, the value of RS, which is equal to 6x, plus the value of ST, which is equal to 7x, plus the value of QT, which is also equal to 7x. Then we will simplify. We will bring down 360 degrees equals 4x plus 6x plus 7x plus 7x is equal to 24x. Then we will divide this both sides by 24. 24 divided by 24 is x and then 360 divided by 24 is equal to 15. So the value of x is equal to 15. Now to get the measure of the red arc this portion we will solve for the measure of arc rs so arc rs is equal to 6x degrees we will substitute the value of x so we have 6 times 15 degrees is equal to 90 degrees so the value of arc rs is equal to 90 degrees and then also we will solve for the measure of arc st so the measure of arc st is equal to 7x degrees so we will substitute the value of x which is equal to 15 so arc st will be equal to 7 times 15 degrees which is equal to 105 degrees so the measure of arc st is equal to 105 degrees now we will now solve for the measure of arc rst all we need to do is to add the measure of arc rs and the measure of arc st so 90 degrees plus 105 degrees is equal to 195 degrees. So the measure of arc RT is equal to 195 degrees. So let's have our last example. Use circle P to find the value of X, then find the measure of the red arc. So arc BC is equal to 2X minus 30 degrees and then arc ac is equal to x so we all know that the measure of arc bca is equal to 180 degrees because it is a semicircle. so all we need to do is to apply arc addition postulate we will add the value of arc bc plus the value of arc ca equals 180 degrees so we will substitute so arc bca is equal to 180 degrees equals the measure of arc bc which is equal to 2x minus 30 degrees plus the value of arc ca is equal to x degrees then we will simplify so bring down 180 degrees equals 2x plus x is 3x bring down negative 30 and then we will transpose negative 30 so negative 30 it will become positive 30 then simplify again 180 plus 30 is equal to 210 degrees equals 3x then we will divide this both sides by 3 so 3 divided by 3 will be equal to x and then 210 divided by 3 will be equal to 70 so x is equal to 70 and then to find the value of the red arc which is arc bc all we need to do is to substitute the value of x so we have arc bc is equal to 2x minus 30 degrees so substituting it will be 2 times 70 minus 30 degrees 2 times 70 is equal to 140 then minus 30 so arc bc will be equal to 140 minus 30 degrees is equal to 110 degrees so the measure of the red arc is equal to 110 degrees.